Jamie Ertl and we are tracking the tropics, potential tropical cyclone 9. It is not a named storm yet, but once it makes its way into the Gulf of Mexico, it's expected to make landfall as a category 3. Now it looks like making landfall as a 2, but that's after landfall, and that means that it will start to lose its steam as it makes its way through Georgia. And look, it's already a tropical depression by Friday evening, so from Thursday evening to Friday evening, it will lose steam. I wanted to show you the computer model comparisons. Now, we'll pause it right here. Potential landfall Thursday evening. Notice in yellow, the isobars are very wide, but excuse me, the, the black. Notice in yellow, the isobars are very tight. That's the American model, the GFS. And that means a stronger storm will make its way into Southeast Georgia and South Carolina versus what the European model is saying. Both of them are on track as far as where it will be, but the, the American model says it's going to be a little bit more intense. So I want to show you the worst case scenario as far as the winds, because the winds will be more impactful than the water th this time around, all right? So this is Thursday morning. Wind gust forecast looking very manageable, and I only pause it here at 7 p.m when we start to see potential tropical storm force winds. So throughout the day Thursday, it's going to be a little rainy and a little breezy. Then as we head into the 11 o'clock time frame, then we could see those wind gusts possibly up to 50 miles per hour, even 60 south of the Altamaha and closer to the coast. Right here, pausing it at 4 a.m. on Friday morning, Potentially some areas, and this is the, the, the worst case scenario, could see hurricane force winds from Statesboro, Claxton, Hinesville to Jessup. And that's 4 a.m., but notice that by 7 a.m., wind gusts already start to diminish down to 50 plus. And then by 10 a.m., you're out the door and you're looking around to see what has happened and the winds are below tropical storm force winds. Highest rainfall totals will be from the GFS. You can see potentially six inches of rain tapering off closer to two and a half near the coast. Now the European, because it's not a stronger system, for their modeling, notice that the pattern is still the same with higher rainfall totals west tapering off toward the coast, but the rainfall totals are a little less. Let's talk about that high pressure in control now and a cold front back to the west. That's the steering mechanism of the storm. Fair and fair first alert live radar picking up on some ground clutter, but dry. We start Tuesday dry, some upper 60s and mostly in the lower 70s closer to the coast. As we head through the day, we hit 90 degrees for the high and a zero chance of rain. Rinkin 90, Statesboro 91, Jessup 92, Bluffton Richmond Hill 90. First alert forecast. First alert weather days for Thursday evening into Friday morning, tapering off Friday night and dry for the weekend.